Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video series, Record Macro in Excel Part 3, I will show you that how to apply VLOOKUP function using recording macro, right? So, if you have not seen my previous two videos, then you can just uh, go to my channel and uh, watch the videos uh, like Part 1 and Part 2. So I'm going to upload some more videos related to the recording and like a record macro kind of thing. So in this uh, particular demo, I will show you that uh, how to apply VLOOKUP function using record macro. So first thing is that you should know that how to apply VLOOKUP function. And uh, if you know manually that how to apply VLOOKUP function, then uh, if you will record it, uh, then it would be easy for you, but if you are not aware about it in manually as well, so it is very hard to like to just follow the options, right? So this is my data. So here you can see that it is a month and these are like north, south, east and west. This is just dummy data I have just created, right? So I, if you have watched my previous video, then you are aware about it that how to record uh, macros in uh, VBA so we have three or four options but in first video I'll show you that to record macro through this button and second macro I will show you that how to record it using you need to go to the view go to view tab then you need to go to the macro button and here we have a record macro option so first of all I will just paste it here like this and uh, let's suppose this is my value I have to just find the July data using VLOOKUP function and I will just apply some border over here so my first of all manually I will apply VLOOKUP function so I will if you are not aware the array uh, like how to apply VLOOKUP and array then I will show you that in this example and how to do that manually as well so first of all I am going to select all these cells right this range uh, where we have to apply like north, south, east and west, north, south, east and west. It is in a sequence, right? North, south, east, west. Here also north, south, east, west. So we have to apply VLOOKUP function. First of all, we, I will apply it manually, VLOOKUP. So first option is lookup value. This is my lookup value. Table array. So this is my table array. I will freeze it using F4 option. Then comma, then I will start with curly bracket. So in this range, so north is in a second position, south in, in third position, east is in fourth and west in five fifth position. The same way we will write here like two, three, four and five. Then close it with curly bracket. Then comma, then zero. Zero for uh, false, like uh, exact match, right? And we can use false and zero as well. Then we, I need to press like control, shift, enter. Once I will press Control Shift Enter, then you can see the all the value instantly. Like in July, if you'll match the data, in July we have 12, 86, 83, and 54. So first of all, I have applied the manually, then I will record the macro. So we can use the uh, data validation as well, just like I have left to write here April. If I'll check April data, so it's better to just apply validation and apply list option, then we can just using drop down menu then we can just select any one of the all these things right so we need to go to the data data ribbon then we can choose here data validation and then here data validation we have in any value we need to choose say list and source data i can just select all these values right click here and press ok once you will click it then you can see all the values over here and my values are also changing so now we'll i will apply the vlookup function so I will go to the view tab and go to the record macro and I will give it a name like V lookup example. Right? So this is my macro name V lookup example. A description if you want to write, then you can also write, but we will do it in later on. Press OK. Then same way select all these range. Write here V lookup. This is my lookup value. Okay, I can select in this way as well. Okay, we look up, look up value. This is my look up value in K8 cell. This is my table array. Press F4 
in order to freeze it comma then start with curly bracket two three four and five close it with curly bracket again then zero then comma two three four is like why we have chosen taken here two three four five because in this selected range we have two three four and five north south east west that's why we I have taken two three four five inside curly bracket then I need to press control shift enter don't press enter only press control shift enter control shift and enter once you will do that all the values will be populated over here then you can go to the macro option stop the macro okay now I have just stopped the macro and uh, I will go to the insert command in uh, I will just take one shape and this is the shape and I will assign macro to that command right click here okay then uh, I have just added a sh shape over here just right click here so sometime you will face some this kind of problem if you will click here I think there is some issue with my mouse so once you will click here when you will see these options like uh, hyperlink assign macro then simply click on the assign macro once you will click assign macro so you can see that multiple uh, macros I have created so the macro which we have created in this automation so we have taken the name like we look up example simply click on this because uh, just like you will uh, create multiple macro then you can see the according to their name you can see the subroutine over here this is called subroutine and these are the name of the macros so we have just created this one we look up example just click ok so in this button that um, macro has been assigned right now right then I will go here edit text and I will write here we look up formula okay so we look up we look up only we can write we look up and uh, that's all then we can I will just delete this part and I will click here then you can see that automatically name uh, wh whatever the values we have in September all the values are coming here like 15 34 6 97 again I will delete here and I will choose another value this is December I will click here so December you can see 84 60 46 and 30 values right so right now I'm just clicking and then deleting everything right so what I can I, I can also just record a macro in order to clear all these values right for that what we need to do simply go to the view tab and uh, go to the macro record click on the record macro button and you can write here like clear we look up data you can give it a uh, name like this right I click OK once you will click here then you can see that the macro started recording and if you will click here uh, hover your mouse over here then you can see the screen tip as well a macro is currently recording click to stop recording if I will click here then it will stop but uh, I do not want to stop it right now so I will go and just delete these values I have deleted it then uh, the macro is recording in behind right and then I will go and stop it I can stop it from here as well in view tab I can stop it from here as well I will stop it and I will take another shape as well and this is my another shape I will write here like edit text clear data right clear data I can give the name of this one and I will align it to middle and then again right click here I don't know what the issue with my mouse and then right click over here then you can just see these options then click here clear we look up data this macro I have created right now okay click here that's all and then uh, clear data macro we have recorded and assigned it to this button right and I will select any other value this is uh, June right and click here and June value can verify from here 46 33 46 32 all the values are here okay and if you we'll click here clear data so it is cleared now October click click and in this way you can just record macro if you are doing these kind of tasks so you can 
also record if you are not aware about the coding. So if you will the fo follow the step as I am following right now. So you can create same kind of data and same things which I am applying right now. You can do same kind of things and you can just uh, create these tabs and clear data, right? So in a, another example, I will just show you another demo. I will do something else. So uh, you can see here like uh, we have created the function like a recorded macro in Excel part three. This is VLOOKUPS. And let's see in another video what I will just do, right? So I hope you would like this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time.